Right, so now today we're back again with Ridwan. Hi Ridwan, how are you? Hi. Alright, so today we're going to talk about more about uh, his diet, his nutrition, and how, how, or what he eats uh, to fuel him for his training. So Ridwan, maybe you can tell uh, everyone what, what do you actually eat or how do you actually fuel your training? Okay, first they need to understand that my walking weight um, is 64 kilograms. So I need to fight at a weight of 55 kilograms and I need to weigh in at 55 kilograms. So what I do is I try to eat a low carb diet and all the carbs that I eat will be the earlier part of the day and uh, basically six small meals throughout the day and like almonds, um, almonds, raisins, oats, um, healthy pasta but all of that is before training. Then in between I have my supplements, I have things like fish oil, BCAA, protein shakes and Nutrifers has provided me a few. Uh, it, ha it has helped me in my recovery has helped me in losing the unnecessary weight so all is uh, all is on track all right I, I got one question for you actually i mean uh being on a low carb diet <clears throat> i mean how how do you find the the energy i mean how because being on, we, we do know that low carb diets usually tend to sap a, a bit of energy from you when you're not eating carbs basically so i think basically it's a uh, i think it's been a lot of years so i think my body's sort of get, getting you got used to it really and also the supplements, I think uh, it helped me with the vitamins. The multivitamins help me help my body recover faster. And uh, the BCAA, for example, I think it gives me the energy to perform during training. So I think it's all it's all about eating the right food at the right time. All right. Uh, one last one last question before we go. Actually, the fasting month just passed. So first of all, uh, in Mubarak to you. All right. And then uh, during the fasting month, your training first of all, and then your diet. How? How would you tweak your diet, or was it did it remain the same, you know, and all that when you break fast before you started your fast in the morning you know, and all that? Basically, uh, the pre-dawn meal I eat like more carbs, so I eat rice. If I can eat oats, I do have oats, dates basically, and then uh, of course when I'm fasting I cannot eat or drink. So uh, once I break my fast, I will have lots of water, more dates, and um, I will try to eat every two hours. Uh, until my next night run, I will try to run at night at about 11 pm or midnight, and my afternoon training is about 4 pm. So by the time my training is done at about 5:36, I don't have to wait too long to, to break my fast. So it's not too it's not too difficult. It's a bit painful sometimes, but it's it's still manageable. Alright, everyone. Uh, thanks so much again thank for you. sharing with our viewers. Okay, thank you.